Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Guys, check this out live from the Deja Vu Strip Club in Tijuana, Mexico. I just got out of this place. I had a great time. I'm going to tell you guys all about it. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll take you inside. Okay, guys, I thought I'd do the review of the Deja Vu Club walking down my street as opposed to in my house like I always do, just to change it up. All right, guys, so here's the deal. It was a $6 cab ride from the San Ysidro border to the Deja Vu Club. It's right over by Hotel Pueblo Amigo, okay, Zona Rio, a very good part of town. And I'm going to tell you right now, when you pull up to this place, you're going to be impressed. It is absolutely huge. It's enormous. You're going to pull up. There's a safe, nice, secure parking lot with security. You walk up to the front. When you walk up to the front, there's a security guard there. He's going to search you. He's going to wave the metal detector wand around. And that's just good business, guys. He's just doing that to make sure you're not bringing in anything you're not supposed to. It's protection for you and it's protection for the girls. Okay, so I get in the place and there's a $10 cover charge. And I asked them, is the cover charge every day? And they go, no, it's just the weekends. And I was okay with that because the place is very, very impressive, okay? So I get in, I check my bag in, they hold my bag in the coat room. I go in there, I sit down. I'm gonna tell you right now, folks, the inside of this place is every bit as impressive as the outside. It's two floors that I could see when I immediately walked in couple different bars, a stage for the girls to dance. And I'm going to tell you right now, the seats, the tables, the chairs, everything in this place is impressive, okay? Super impressive, right? So I sat down, order a drink, a Bacardi and Coke like always. It's four bucks, okay? So it's a dollar more than it is at the Adelita Bar, maybe 50 cents more about what it is at Hong Kong. That's a fair price. Now I ask them, how much is it if I buy a drink for the girls? They said, well, it's $10 if you buy a drink for the girls. Guys, that's not bad. I think Chicago Club, Hong Kong, and Adelitas are around $8. So this place is just a little bit more expensive as opposed to a cover charge and the drinks. But if you look at this facility and you feel the atmosphere of this facility, you're going to understand why it's a little more expensive. So anyways, guys, a girl comes over, she sits down, I order her a drink. I had already ordered myself a drink. I tip the waiter good. I want to feel welcome in a place that's my first time there, right? I can tell you right now, she did not drink that drink fast. The waiters were not pressuring me. They were not coming up to me saying, hey, do you want another one? Hey, do you want another one? Hey, do you want another one? Not at all. There was no pressure at this place at all. Anyway, so I'm feeling really good. It's looking really good. The girls... The girls there are pretty, okay? There's not as many girls there as there are at, say, Hong Kong. It doesn't matter, though. They're really pretty girls, really good atmosphere. I felt a step above. I totally felt like I was a step above. Now, let me say something else, too. Then I asked the girl, I was like, well, how does it all work here? Is there a hotel? Is there private dances? What's going on? And she said, yeah, here's the deal. She goes, if you want a private dance, it's 20 bucks. Guys, that's, that's about on par with... Hong Kong or Chicago, it's the same thing. And she goes, now if you want five songs, it's a hundred bucks, okay? She goes, we can have some more privacy. We can negotiate things from there. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, well, what about the hotel? And she was like, well, the hotel's 30 bucks if you want to stay there. And then I asked her, well, can you stay all night? She said, no, you can only stay for about 30 minutes. I said, okay, I understand that. And I was like, so what's it cost to, to go to the hotel for full-blown wide open service and she said well that's $150 and I'm going to tell you right now guys I think there was some wiggle room there there was some negotiation room there because the prices that I was quoted are a little higher than normal but I totally think they were worth it guys it's a different atmosphere from Zona Norte now you guys know normally I never say good things about bars that aren't in the top three you guys know I don't like going to new bars I only like the Chicago the Hong Kong the Adelita and the tropical okay can tell you right now I learned something and what I learned is deja vu is a good good place I was never shortchanged it's a different environment if you have a little bit more money to spend I recommend that you go there so guys wrapping things up about deja vu double thumbs up totally cool a little bit more expensive than you're gonna find at like Hong Kong or the Adelita bar it's a different atmosphere guys it's kind of a step up on the class level I think okay now I know a lot of the younger kids are gonna like the Hong Kong bar more because it's more out of control but uh, Deja Vu is definitely a low-key super nice place nothing but good things to say about them okay I, I th personally thought it was better than, than Amnesia and uh, I'm definitely gonna be going back and uh, 
like I said, nothing but good things to say about Deja Vu. If you hadn't done it already, smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out, guys. Anything you need to know about Tijuana, Mexico, you hit me up. I did this video for you guys. You guys asked for it. You guys got it. See you in the live chats. See you around at the Zona Norte. You guys take it easy and be safe.